Hi everyone, so musical lyrics, here's the quick version for those of you in a hurry. Click on the note, control L for typing lyrics. This is R V, so R dash V. Space, next note, next word, ma dash re dash dash to carry on to the next word, R underscore underscore to make the longer note. To make edits, double click. Obviously, you can delete things. Uh, you can move, and once you're in double click and you're moving modes, you can go from syllable to syllable. But it does change them. For those of you who have a little bit more time, let's dive a bit deeper into some other things. It may be that you want to put multiple words onto a single note, in which case we're still typing lyrics, control L, and maybe this needs to be in two R in multiple words, so control space to uh, then the next space goes to the next word. Obviously that's not what I want for this one, but it is possible. We also have special characters, so in properties, insert special characters, and here are all our diacritics, is that the right word? I think so. so we could use an A, right, with those ones. Um, Got all kinds of things like that. We also get the elision slur. So again, if you need to put multiple vowels on a single note, you can use the elision slur. That's quite a common thing to see. If you need a second line of lyrics, you can just start at the beginning, double click, go to the end of that word and press enter, and now you're on the second line of lyrics. All right. You can also add lyrics by going to add text and lyrics down here or if you click on a note that already has lyrics and press ctrl l it will also add the next verse so it's all fairly intuitive and it, and it kind of just works which is nice what you could also do is find the lyrics to the in this case this is the ave maria you could just type out your lyrics perhaps you've got a poem that you've got in microsoft word and if you add the dashes between the words well between the syllables sorry then you can copy in, you could copy the whole thing, but in even just sections of it. So let's do this first sentence. And then we come into MuseScore and we click on the first one, control L for lyrics. And now I press paste, control V, and it does it syllable by syllable. So RV, control V, ma, re. Now this one needs to go another one, so I'm going to add another dash, R, and then underscore. Oh, that's dash, uh, yes, dash, 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 T R plena. Right, and so I'm just using control V and dash, and I'm adding, able to add this very quickly. Trouble is, once you make a mistake, you can't go back. So Dominus, we'll just need to bring up our word file again. Tecum. Right, but this can be a lot quicker than typing it in manually. Um, so that's that was a nice little tip that I learned from this. Now, why is this important? Why does it matter where the notes go? Well, first of all, they're easier to see. Uh, this is the standard way of writing in lyrics when you want to put the music to, to the words. But also, if you've seen my latest video on Kantai, you'll know that um, adding the lyrics to the music can be really useful because you have these AI tools that are able to actually sing your music, uh, which is very cool. Here's a demo of that. One last bonus, if you do have multiple verses, like you're doing hymns, for instance, you can just type one dot, and you'll see that it comes before, uh, sorry, we can do one dot and then control space, A, let's do two dot, and it lines up beautifully as the verses, so 
well done to MuseScore for making a system that actually works very, very useful and it works well. All right, that's it for today. Just a quick one. Uh, we'll see you in the next tutorial. Feel free to subscribe and bye for now. The